Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is going to be about kerning, using the shape tool to modify this text for a couple different ways or a couple different reasons. So if you take your shape tool, you've got these kerning, I'm going to call them kerning arrows. This one will allow you to separate your lines further. This one will just stretch the whole text out kind of evenly. I'm not really a big fan of that, but if you hold down the shift key and move this, it stretches the, the space between the words. Now there's other ways to do this. You can grab it with that, go to text, go to text properties, and your property bar should come up. And you can actually go into kerning and and kern at a certain percentage, like right here. But that's a little, you know, unless every, unless you're doing it a lot, and they all have to be exactly. So now let's put this thing on path. And the normal way would be to take the text and go down to edit or fit text to path, and then put on your path. And that's one way. Or you could back up, and without having to go up to the text menu. Just hold down, hold down your right, right mouse button, and you'll see it as I get on the line, it's going to change into like a circle or a bullseye. Let go, and there's your fit text of path. Now, this used to irritate me, it doesn't anymore. One way you can click off and click on this scroll bar, and sometimes it'll disappear, or just go to your zoom tool and zoom in, and it'll go away. But this is where the, the kerning tool would really help you. If you needed to go further around this shape, just hold down your shift key and stretch out the, stretch out the words or the space between the words without stretching the letters themselves. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.